I've been using a tool called Language Reactor, and it is one of the best tools to practice French or any other languages, actually. So if you want to learn French with YouTube videos or Netflix shows, Language Reactor is the best. And so uh, you can get it for free. It's actually a Chrome extension. Uh, you're going to get free transcripts uh, from YouTube videos and Netflix shows. So that's incredible. And you can also get uh, practice. So it gives you a lot of options to practice pronunciation and also to practice vocabulary. Okay, so first you're going to type language reactor here. And then you're going to see this first one here, language reactor with uh, a purple logo here. Okay, so click here. And then you're going to see the page of uh, the website. Here you're going to click install Chrome extension. Okay, and then you're going to see you're going to see this page. Okay, so here you should have a button saying install. Uh, mine is already installed, so it's not showing, but uh, you should see that there on this page. Once it's installed, you should see this logo there on uh, YouTube videos and also on your Netflix account. But this logo only shows on your computer. So it's not going to show on TV or on your phone or on your tablet. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you use Language Reactor once it's installed. So here, this is one of my YouTube videos. And you can see the logo right here, but it's gray. Okay, it's not activated. I'm going to activate it. And it's going to be purple. Okay, and you're going to see this part showing up on the side. So now, in uh, on this video, I registered two subtitles, English and French, right here. Because it's there, uh, you're going to have the transcript showing here. I'm going to show you how. So you're going to go here, parameters there. And here, you're going to select French, Francais. Here, I selected uh, English, so Anglais, and this is my translation, okay, English translation, human captions. You can also select another language, but that would be an automatic translation from Language Reactor, okay? So for now, I'm just going to put French, English. Here, uh, I'm not going to select that one because I don't want a, a tool to show automatic translation. So instead, I select this one, human translation. Okay. So then I'm going to close this and see that this is appearing on the side. Okay. Now, uh, if I want to print this transcript, I can go right here, export, export it. I click and here I'm going to select display the human translation. And here I'm going to remove this one, the automatic translation there. Okay. So then you can click here. So imprimer, print, and I put um, export, export. And so, uh, wait, this is the one. Here can I, yeah, it's showing now. So here you have uh, the French version. Here you have the English version and you can print it. So if I go back now, let's say that I want to print it or have it on Excel. You have this option here. Okay, and then you go export, and then it's going to show you. Here, I'll show you. Okay, so here, that's the file. And then you can print it or save it on your computer. Now I'm going to show you the other options you can use. So see here, if you go over the words there, you can see the translation right there, right, on the side. And if you click on it, you can even hear how to pronounce it. Aujourd'hui. See? So here you have aujourd'hui, it says what it means, and then it also gives you um, other sentences in the video using that word. Okay? Then if you want to repeat that sentence, you can click here on that arrow, 
Aujourd'hui, c'est dimanche, il est 7h30 du matin. Aujourd'hui, c'est dimanche, il est 7h30 du matin. And if I want to stop it, I just click on the bar of my computer. OK So this is good if you want to do a shadowing exercise. A shadowing exercise. So shadowing exercise means that you're going to try to uh, repeat that sentence and mimic the person as much as you can. OK So this is for um, the shadowing. And then you can also, if you want, you can also go here and click and copy if you want to copy the vocabulary somewhere, okay, or the whole sentence somewhere, you can. Uh, here you have a little star. Park avec mon mari. But uh, for this, um, you need a special subscription. I think you need to pay. But if you click on here, yeah. so if you click here, you can actually um, save the vocabulary you want to remember if you want to practice later, if you want to have a pack of flashcards, for example. But this is something you need to pay. Otherwise, the rest is free. Okay, so this is for the vocab and the shadowing exercise. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to get a transcript when the channel hasn't registered the subtitles. So here I'm on the Easy French channel, but uh, the only problem here is that if I go to subtitles, there's nothing there. Okay, they only have automatic subtitles in French. Uh, generated by YouTube, but it's okay. So what you can do here is, uh, let's see, you're gonna go here back to the parameters here. You're gonna click here. You're gonna select uh, this one, the automatic translation in French. Here you're gonna click uh, English and you're gonna select um, the automatic translation there, okay? Here it says that the human translation is not available, but that's okay. We're going to do it that way. Okay, so I close this, and then you have the French translation here appearing, okay? Uh, the only thing is that uh, because it's automatic, it might not be perfect. So maybe sometimes you're going to see weird words, okay, because um, it's uh, YouTube translations. But... Uh, let's see, we're going to try to export that. So you're going to go in export, print. Uh, here, there's no human translation. So I'm just going to put automatic translation there. Okay. I'm going to put export. And here, here you have the French version. And here you have the English version. Okay. But remember what I said? Uh, for example, here it says... Nouvel épisode DZ French, and the uh, uh, spelling is a little weird there. So this might happen. Okay, but overall, I think it's okay. Um, it's not that bad, I think. Uh, maybe when people speak really fast, uh, YouTube might not uh, recognize a few words because it's automatic, right? But it's still great, you know, to have that option. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use Language Reactor on Netflix. So here I opened an episode of The Cage. It's a French show that I'm watching. And here the logo is not activated there, right? It's off, so I'm going to click on it here. Now it's purple, so it's activated, and you're going to see this whole thing appear on the side and here, right at the bottom. And see that here you have two subtitles, the French subtitles, the English subtitles. So you go here and par in the parameters, right? So this is the original language of the audio French. Uh, this is the subtitles I want in French. And this is the second subtitle here that I want to uh, display. So let's say you want to display another language. So let's see, I don't know, German. Here, so here it's going to be great. Okay, let's see. See, it's generating German subtitles here, right? But if I go back and let's say I want another language, but that is not generated by Netflix. So here, see that this language here doesn't have human translation there on the side, which means that it's not a language that is uh, offered as a subtitle by Netflix. 
So if you want another language, uh, which is not um, a Netflix subtitle, then you will have to take the pro version and get the automatic translation from Language Reactor, okay? So, but for me, it's gonna be English. Okay, so it's activated and then it's gonna work like on YouTube. You, you will be able to go here, export, and then get both uh, script in French and in English. So if I click on export, this is uh, what I get here, right? I have the French version here and I have the English uh, version here, okay? Uh, the good thing here on Netflix is that you have this option right here. So let's say that you want, um, you want to have a shadowing exercise. So you can click here and it's going to stop at each sentence. Here, I'll show you. Okay. See, it's stopping automatically, right? Which means I can repeat again. Okay. okay. And then once I'm done, I can just remove that option. And then it continues. Okay. So that's how it works. Then you're going to have the same options. You can go over the words and you have the vocabulary showing on the side. You can click on it and get the pronunciation of the word you want. Uh, let's see what else you can uh, go over the subtitles also directly here. Amateur like that. Okay. And you can go here and copy that if you want to copy it somewhere. Okay. And that's it. I hope it's going to help you practice French or any other languages that you're learning right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.